Vijay. Nice to see you. Looking lovely. Nice backdrop. Yeah, thanks, Vee. Uh, everyone at home work at putting things together for me. I know it's a lot of preparation. I know. Thanks to Bishma and to Ritika. Yeah, all your fr- all our friends are joining in. Jeff, okay. Sujata. Sujata says hi, Nina. Ratish hey. is in. Yeah, hi, Sujata. Gautam is there. Vibha is there. Hi, Vibs. I think we're going to have uh, quite a lot of people coming in today with a lot of questions. I'm sure. I hope you're prepared for it. Uh, let's go for it. I mean, as usual, I just I'm not prepared with what Thank kind you, of Jeff. questions. Thank you. If I, I can't answer. To... Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. If I can't ask, answer the technical questions, I always have you, right? I don't think you'll have technical questions. You have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Right. So uh, we're going to start in a few seconds. Yeah, uh-huh. people are coming yeah. in, and we're just waiting for a few more to join in. Okay. Guys, please send in your questions for Nina, and she'll be happy to answer. Right. So let's get the clock uh, ticking. And uh, today, from O2, we are hosting um, uh, somebody who needs so introduction, but she will not like it if we don't introduce her. <laughs> so here we have with us our ever charming, the most beautiful and most adorable person. She has been an inspiration for many in her personal, social, and professional life. She is versatile, unique, and passionate about all that she does. So be it Savera Sham Group. O2 or NAB, which is the National Association for Blind, or the Bob Cycling Group, uh, whether it's her friends, family, or her pets, she does all these roles perfectly, and makes us envy her in an admirable way. So she is a great friend, a true guide, and a brilliant boss. So here we have with us Mrs. Nina Reddy. Yes, welcome to the chat, uh, Nina. Yeah, thank you, Vijay. That that's a brilliant introduction. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to talk only about fitness, food, and your journey um, through your life about uh, health and fitness and how uh, things uh, change. What inspired you throughout your life to do uh, to keep yourself healthy, fit, and uh, also about food and uh, what about your take on eating healthy and. Uh, what is the philosophy of your life in terms of dealing with stress and uh, because you juggle a lot of things so we like to talk about touch about all these uh, three aspects mainly about the fitness food and uh, uh, the mind aspect of it so can you start us on how it all began for you Uh, okay let me let me first start off by saying uh, thank you to everyone who's been with me on this journey because you know at the end of the movie there's no one no Vijay to see the you know acknowledgements I would yeah, like to finish yeah. that first so I would like to thank by thank my parents first for making me the person I am right and uh, then also for the lovely genetics they've uh, given you <laughs> <laughs> yes and the upbringing yes and yeah. my family has always been around and will be around with me and um and all my friends from every walk of life and and of course the people I work with whether it is Savera or Sham group or Nivi group or my Bob cycling group my best buddies or all my friends at the Duchess club you know I mean there's so many people to thank but I wanted to do that first before I went in because I think you know they're all there and I think the yeah, I think I missed out on Duchess. Kind of uh, yeah, yeah. I think we missed out on the Duchess uh, part that you that you wonderfully do, and we have a lot of Duchess members who are a part of uh, this uh, chat show. They're all listening to you. <laughs> Please go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start off by um, on a very personal front. I'm going to tell you how I've, I've never been into sports or anything like that, and uh, I've just taken life as it comes. If I remember my childhood, I've been always an extremely active person. And everyone said that I always had ants in my pants, you know, because it was impossible to keep me in one position always. So, um, 
let me go back to my really early childhood it was always outdoor games where it was playing hopscotch or you know four stones and staying things like that and lo- climbing a lot of trees and having a lot of friends around who would just you know and we would never know the time going by later on it was uh, badminton shuttle uh, table tennis and a bit of what we call netball those days it's something like basketball soon after that i took to cycling and i come from a place in hyderabad called the banjara hills where you uh, the roads are up and down so as soon as i learned my cycling i would just go ahead take a rented cycle and if i remember i was trying to remember i think i would pay 5 rupees for a rented cycle then take them on weekends and i would go all over the hills and i would be humming my favorite songs so today if, if, if i'm a part of the bob cycling group i would like to credit that particular cycle for all the beautiful memories that i have so that's uh, rekindled your cycling uh, uh, yes. hobby or as a fitness yeah your childhood I th- I uh, think, memories I yeah that, i think today the uh, most of the people in the bob cycling group are also almost uh, my age yes much younger people are also there but the people are really into cycling are more of my age group you know people the forgotten forgotten days later on uh, i got married and i came into uh, the family here of savera and i remember running at boat club on the boat club roads with my dogs along with my husband so that's my earliest memory of uh, fitness and exercise uh but one okay. thing was very strange vijay i wanted to tell you that before i got married i did not hear a word like obesity or a word like diet i didn't i don't think they existed in my vocabulary because we always had proper solid homemade healthy food yeah that's what has come back come back again during this lockdown i think no is about the home home foods and not eating out and eating healthy and you see the change that is happening in in our body isn't it clearly uh and i've always been uh, on the lighter side and always been having a good figure according to all my classmates and uh, with my first child i was able to go back to my original weight of 54 kilos but with my second child ritika uh, the weight that i g- gained it was difficult to take it off uh, so that is when i discovered uh, my mentor my guide my philosopher in fitness suraya i hope she's there somewhere listening so to how, it because how old were you then if I'm, if i may ask you that i was uh, 28 years and uh, and i want to tell you one more thing today after 28 years I'm still at 62 kilos. So yeah, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it's the maintenance bit that is the most difficult in anything, you know. And I'm glad to say I was able to maintain my weight all these years. So Pratyusha wants to know what's your fitness routine. Would you like to uh, tell her your secret? Yeah, it's no secret because I think everyone knows. I keep talking about it because I think it's also about. when you walk your talk and then you can inspire that many more people and it's important to spread uh, good things i definitely do 3 days of yoga and i would like to thank my yoga master venkat i hope he's watching somewhere for he's 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 a very systematic committed person so definitely 3 times a week i get to do my yoga with him we do the isha so he gives yoga. you the gentle reminders Is very 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 gentle reminders <laughs> <laughs> and then i have uh, jeff where uh, i do my aqua aerobics with him at uh, savera and the classes are rocking and i enjoy a lot with my aqua friends i think you'll be missing it uh, now with the uh, lockdown and the pools being closed and you should be waiting to get back isn't it like i was talking of to course, jeff the and, other sorry. day and can you believe that you know we're looking so much forward to the summer to be in the pool and it's not there but i guess i guess it it, it has to be like this and uh, for my weight training i use the gym at this point i would like to thank uh, two people who really helped me with my weight training earlier was a girl called emily a really beautiful kid and then going back to suraya would you like to share more of your thoughts because that is the formative time even before or to start it i think no that uh, when you said yes. uh, you started when you were about 28 yes so uh, so that was at arugya that i really believe it uh, my child was about 3 month old and i would go to the surya's classes exactly at 10 o'clock 10 to 11 she will also recollect like that 
every day of the week. And that went on for many years. And uh, later on, I made so many really good friends also at the same time. Later on, Guys, we are buffering a bit. I think uh, the connection should be established. Yeah. 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 Please go ahead. Yeah. Is that okay, Vijay? Yeah, yeah. That, that's when uh, I asked uh, Suraya whether she would like asked Suraya whether she would like to come along because I was looking at starting a health center at that point of time. So Suraya came in, and then we started O2 at that point. That was in 2001. August. So it's almost about 30 years of uh, non-stop exercising. It's been a part of your life, isn't it? And here we struggle to keep up our commitment, you know, like we miss our exercise sessions, but here is someone who's never missed uh, the yoga or the aerobics or keeping themselves fit. You know, like how is it possible for you to stay committed for such a long time? Because I think I just take it as a part of what I need to do. It's like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Exercise is also part of my regime. So it's not like something that out of the thing that I need to do. It's just a part of what I do. And I like to uh, give credit to my fitness and health for the optimum health I am in touch with. Yeah. So we all uh, we are all very keen to know about how Oto started and about Jeff and uh, all those things way back in 2001. You were the first. We were the first. Uh, health fitness studio in Chennai. Can you tell us more about it because people would like to know the story and the history behind it. Uh, Vijay, when I was growing up again, I would read a lot of Stardust. I don't know whether you, it was your generation, it was my generation of magazine. And then I would read about Rekha, the actress, who, who was my first introduction to fitness because I would admire her for it. And she mentioned in one of her interviews that she treats her body like a temple. You know? So those words stuck in my mind. And and I think it's very important to dream. Very important to dream if you want something. So this is like, again, Providence. And who would come and inaugurate my first O2 but Rekha herself? Can you believe it? Well, it has always happened to you. You have the Providence, I think. Like uh, you wanted Surya to open one of her center and he is there. You want Karthi yes. to open one of the center and he is there. I think uh, God has been very kind to you extremely kind yeah. at the same time I think it's uh, when you do anything with the best of intentions Vijay I think I don't think you can go wrong that's the only thing I believe in uh, yeah so uh, you started in 2001 and uh, how did it start I mean uh, you started as a group fitness studio or as a gym or what was it like I'll tell you why I felt there was a void in fitness at that time because there was no access to any kind of a gym for any any ordinary people if you're not part of say a club like Cosmopolitan Club or Andhra Club. You have to be a member first and then you can access the gym. There were no, no standalone good gyms at that point of time. And, uh, and of course, group fitness was what I was into, but I was also getting acquainted with, because I was visiting the other gyms, I wanted to have a fairly good gym. So I requested Suraya, and then of course, I would like to acknowledge Jeff at this point of time because Jeff, thank you so much. You've been with me from day one of O2, and I think I want you with me forever. Thank you, Jeff, for always <laughs> being there. <laughs> uh, so, there is Suraya Jeff. Later on, a very uh, lively, enterprising girl called Susan entered my life. Like I said, you know, when you want something, God just sends those people to you. Yeah, yeah. And, and Susan made a lot of difference at uh, O2 for me. So, she brought in kickboxing, and she even introduced me to how to. Was she, the, was she your first manager in uh, O2 or who was? Uh, yes, yes, she was the first manager, manager. and uh, she was able to put a whole lot of things in the right perspective. So there were a lot of things that I learned from Susan. I think, you know, how to really work hard and get at things. So if Susan is there, if she's watching, I think, uh, thank you, Susan, for always being there for me. And, so you had the right start. I think it was it just fell into place. But let me go back to how I got the machines in. There was there was this place on Kadanamas Road which was owned by my husband Vijay, and it was only used as a you know a dump yard where you can just keep things in. So I just went up to him and I said, I want to start a gym, Vijay, at Kadanamas Road. So he said, You can. I mean, go ahead. That's what he said, and he's always been the most encouraging factor in my life. Uh, but but at that point he. 
I did not want to ask him for money or something to invest. So I borrowed five lakhs of rupees from well wishers and friends, and then that's how, <laughs> that's how I started the center. And on the same road, there was another person called Acme Ramesh. He had a showroom of Acme Fitness. So one just one day, I just walked into his uh, showroom and I said, "Hi, Ramesh. I'm looking at starting a gym here. I cannot afford to buy machines at this point of time. So would you like to keep some of the machines there, and I'll give you a fifty-fifty partnership." And I don't know what he saw in me. He said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> so See, blindly yeah, trusted gym. you, yeah. Yeah, and then will you believe that from day one, O2 was a super success. And I did not even have a bank account. I wouldn't even know how to open a bank account at that point. So uh, I would take back whatever the whatever the membership money in a bag and go back home. You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't see you, Jay. Uh, yeah, you can see me now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then so later was, on, uh, that was a start. So it it started as a aerobic studio and then became a you added the gym to it. It was together, Vijay. Together, so there okay. Was, and let me tell you, Otu, I have to say this because I think we have been uh, the pioneers in fitness, a place where you can have a clean environment, good air conditioning, a nice, uh, you know, a floor where you can do your uh, group exercises, a safe floor, and a nice juice bar, piped music, and lovely clean towels. I think so it had all the ingredients, I think, isn't it? It had all the right ingredients, yeah. Yeah. And we still maintain it, so it is, uh, which is, uh, which is good. And then, of course, very nice staff, you know, who was very cordial and had the right attitude. Of course, we had our ups and downs a little later, and then, and then we had the entry of Tarantara Ernest <laughs> Vijay. <laughs> it's much later. I have to tell you, like. Uh, I used to be in awe of uh, O2 when I just uh, finished my post graduation in sports physiotherapy. So, because uh, it was uh, much ahead of times, I thought in the way back in 2003, if somebody is able to put up uh, a facility which uh, which you can see only in abroad, you know. So it was, I was really awestruck and I was uh, really excited to get in and uh, do work with uh, with you and uh, the O2 team. And thank you for giving that opportunity to be a part of O2. Vijay, like I said, I think I was also looking for someone who could streamline the whole system at that point of time. You know, just put it in the right perspective. I wanted a good person to train my trainers because I did not have the technical background to it. I just has the passion to do it. So I was really looking out for someone who can put this together. And that's when you walked into my life. And thanks to you, today I think all my trainers. God bless them. I think I've got a fantastic set of trainers and physios and dietitians who really help our business. So thank you to all you guys out there. So you thank make you. exercise you make exercise safe for our members, Vijay. And uh, let me tell you, we do not believe in just giving extra dose of exercise without safety. Uto has always believed in that. Okay, Smitha has a question for you. She wants to ask you, what is your main motivation in keeping fit with pregnancy with kids around? I think... Uh, post-pregnancy, post-pregnancy with kids around. No, I just want to ask uh, Smita the same question. Do you need someone to tell you to do it? I think the motivation always has to come from within. If you want to be uh, good to yourself, if you want to take care of a body which God has given you, I think it just, just has to come from within. We can only give you the other facilities, but you know we cannot take the horse to the water. We can only take the horse to the water. You can't make it drink it, right? So the motivation also has to come from inside. So we started in 2001, and then we had our first branch in 2008, if I remember right, in Mogapet. We took almost about uh, seven years. I think we had body lyrics in 2002, which was again a top class center, fitness center at that time. And uh, not to, I mean, not to forget the swimming pool, which was always a super hit with, uh, with the people of uh, Chennai. With our and, genius uh, uh, J. Ram sir and Jay Ram sir. Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, why did it take so much time for you to open the uh, next branch? Vijay, I think for me, uh, O2 has never been about uh, getting money in because I think yeah. uh, if, if people start any gym thinking that, you know, you can make pots of money, 
I'm sorry, guys, this is not the place for it. You know, it has to be bordered on something much deeper than that. It has something to do with you want to keep people well, you want to make them healthier, you want to make them fitter. At the same time, you're also employing many more people and providing uh, employment for them. So it, it has to be just a sustainable model, you know. And, yeah. and I think uh, if you have any other ideas, I don't think things will work. Because I remember right when you wanted to open it, you uh, I remember you telling me it's not about the money, it's about the health and the fitness that you want to spread to the community of Chennai. That's the main reason you wanted to uh, open centers. And uh, Moper happened in 2008 and soon followed, we followed suit with uh, Velicheri, I think, in 2008. And we had our actor Surya coming and opening it. I still remember when Surya came in in 2005, uh, you, you wanted to meet him with a bouquet. And uh, you were asking me, when is he coming? When is he coming? He used to come for his treatment to body lyrics, if I recall it right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, like I said, Dr. Vijay, you came in and I think you made me see the fitness from a very different angle, a, a really a professional and an angle where you can also get in some money to, for expansion. And you also said the brand name of O2 has to be spread further. And that's how we ended up with nine centers in the next 10 years. Yeah, amazing. Okay, yeah. so we started off with uh, 2008 and you started, you, you're already doing strength training and you're you're having really good tone muscles, right? I think Rajendran was one of your first uh, uh, fitness trainer, if I get it right. And yes, uh, yeah. then you, yeah, can you, can you tell us more about your journey with uh, your personal trainers? Uh, it was Rajendran because at that point of time, like I said, we did not have too many qualified trainers. So uh, my friend, my really good friend, uh, J.U., and I call her my little sister. So she just got in uh, Rajendran from uh, Talwakar. And uh, the main person, Mr. Bad Madhukar Talwakar himself suggested that I should take on Rajendran. What I'm saying is, we are into gyms and we are also competitors, right? But there was so much I learned from Madhukar Talwakar, you know. I mean, he did not keep any, any knowledge to himself. He gave me all the knowledge that I required. So it started with Rajinder, went on to Emily after that. And then recently, I think uh, trainer Muthu has been like, really, really good for my personal training. I think you had a, a long, uh, I mean, more than, uh, I think you really enjoyed your training with what I've seen with Emily. You used to drive your car all the way in the morning in your Innova. I used to cross your way, I think. I used to go from Maniratnam to Savera and you'll be crossing me on the road and you'll be going to the Besanaga center, right? And it, yeah, it takes I, a lot for you to get up in the morning and drive your own car without your driver, you know? Like there was a big drive and motivation for you to go. That means you really enjoyed your sessions. So what was your learning with that uh, session from Emily? I think at that point of time, a very strange thing happened. Uh, I think one of the doctors said that I had a heart problem. I don't know why he said that because I landed up in hospital one day. It, it seemed it was because of acidity. But then they gave me some other whatever tablets for uh, heart, uh, heart problems. And, and you were on uh, BP medication also, I think, if I remember right. Exactly. I think it's, it's so sad that uh, I wish doctors would just recommend only exercise as a medicine, you know, and then we saw out everything. That was the point when Emily was at Besanagar O2 and then I think you connected me to her because you said she was one of the safest trainers. And even today, what she did to me was amazing, Vijay. I could run from five minutes to start with on a treadmill and when the doctor said I couldn't, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't strain myself, I ended up by running non-stop for 40 minutes. Wow. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's, so that's what a good trainer yeah. can. Yeah, that's what a good trainer can do to you to motivate you and to uh, push you in the right way without. I mean, at the same time, scale safeguarding your, uh, you know, limits and the risks. And uh, I remember you telling me like how uh, once you had a back problem and you were told not to lift anything at all uh, when you're when you're pretty young, I think, right? Uh, that was that, that was true? even yes, that was even before I even went to. Uh, well, soon after I started my exercise, I must have in my early thirties. And then I think it was just a muscle pull, Vijay. And, I, and then someone suggested that I go to this ortho, uh, ortho surgeon. The minute he saw me, he said I had to go through a surgery. And then he said, there was never, I'm not going, I can't even bend forward, he said, from that day onwards. And I was just in my early 30s. Ah, why did they do this to you? And I, sat in, and I sat in the waiting chair. And you know what I decided? 
I decided I'm never going to go back to him. Went back home. I found another um, yoga master at that time called uh, Krishna Raman, and he gave me maximum confidence to get back into uh, you know my exercise. And I'm glad to say I wish I would go tell that doctor in Apollo. Sorry, uh, the ortho surgeon. This, that was before I started the centers, right? Centers, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think uh, thanks to him, I think I would have. He inspired me in one way. Yeah. So we know the uh, just before the lockdown, the industry was very competitive. The fitness industry has been really competitive. More centers. We don't know how many of them are doing genuine work, but. Uh, uh, it's very difficult for a layman to really appreciate uh, what is right and what is wrong, especially for the beginners, right? So we had to put up with competition, especially with the price war, and it, it took a toll on O2, right? So, and now we are looking at a lockdown, and things are going to be different after the lockdown. So before we touch about about the scenario about uh, fitness industry post lockdown, so what do you suggest for people now during this? It's going to be extended by another two weeks. Uh, there's a lot of stress on people. The incomes are lost, right? And uh, you're sitting at home and eating most of the time, less physical activity. So, w what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I'll tell you what it is. This is going to be here for some time, at least for the end of at least the end of May, right? So that's at least till the vaccine vaccine comes in, I think the fear factor is going to be there. But right. But you know, if you're going not going to be working out at home or just sitting and not doing anything, I think we're going to make ourselves sick. You know, so this is the time actually to get up, eat the right food, keep ourselves energized and do whatever activity we can. There's so much that you can do at home. In fact, uh, all of us from the Aqua group, most of us are part of uh, Jeff's Zoom class in the evening and we work out three times in a week and it is just fantastic. You can do that the is, yoga uh, Jeff's uh, Zoom class has been amazing. That's what I've heard. And uh, we've been motivating uh, some of the yoga teachers also to start up a class, I think, right? So it'll be great for all of them watching to to join something and uh, make their time useful, like you said. Yes, yes. And also, I think as soon as the lockdown is over, Vijay, I think nothing is going to stop us from at least walking right around your house, you know, and also cycling because that's that's an activity that you can do. So welcome to the Bob Cycling Group, guys. Okay. <laughs> and of course, Sarathi, who's going to stop you from doing yoga? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ratish has a question how to avoid uh, home lockdown stress why are you stress, stressed mental Ratish? stress yeah. why are you stressed because there's so much of work that you can do from home and I think that's another aspect which is going to change Vijay it's about you know you'll be a lot of people will be working from home and most of my employees also I think they'll be working on alternate days because that's yeah. how we're going to be doing the social distancing you know so you better get used to being at home Create a nice place for yourself at home, and then you can also be useful at home for your wife and children, right? You know. So, what what about the food? What what does your take on? What do you eat? How do, I mean, how do you maintain your weight? Uh, I'm sure people would like to know that. Uh, before that, now that we are on uh, the lockout, I would like to say that the way forward is what you wanted to know. Uh, I think just no, like about the food. Old, food about your your food habits. Yeah, coming back to it, I would like to. Uh, come to that last i would just like okay. to say that as as a, a pioneer in fitness vijay as o2 was that many about 19 years back and it still I is said, because we keep innovating the times so it still yes, is yeah vijay, and i would like to be the forerunner again after this period is over by establishing new norms in fitness i'm sure you'll have a lot of plans you've been thinking about it we've been talking about it I'm yes sure that there's i a think big you game have, plan. Yeah. yeah all three of us have been planning how to do it it's all about going to be about social distancing it's about again sanitization it's about safe place to exercise which yeah. let me tell you we are going to be the trendsetters again yeah absolutely Co yeah coming back to uh my food okay i don't <laughs> think i'm a great one for that because i think uh I just eat when I'm hungry. That's that's one thing, and uh, I'm majorly into intermittent fasting. I always give myself a 14 hours gap before I have one meal to the other. So normally dinner's over by about eight or eight thirty, and then it's only the next day, 14 hours later, I have my next meal. I'm off dairy at this point of time. I'm off white sugar, and I'm eating a lot of vegetables. I don't eat meat. I don't eat much non-vegetarian except I, I have my eggs. So I just load up myself on a lot of vegetables and uh, lots of green tea. 
and today my my miracle drink is uh, ginger tea with uh, honey and uh, turmeric and uh, it's it's very very nice i have many cups of that and of course i'm sure everybody is taking notes of your uh, secret uh, menu and diet no well, this tea is fantastic i'm going i think i'm going to patent it yeah <laughs> so you 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 have turned uh, a vegetarian or a vegan now what are you now uh i'm just one step away from being a vegan because i vegan. think my eggs mm-hmm. eggs i love my eggs vijay so i don't know whether i can unless i find a really good substitute for it otherwise otherwise i'm i'm okay with what i'm eating i'm fully energized throughout the day i'm able to do all my work all my workouts my body and mind is in in the right place yeah, so yeah. i think i think i'm doing well yeah Yeah, I've. Uh, I mean, the biggest deterrent for a lot of people is aches and pains. They don't get back to exercise when they get injured or hurt. I've seen Venkat working with you with this blade therapy on your neck and your leg. Uh, you seem to somehow work things out and get back to what you like to do and what you really enjoy. So, what do you tell the people uh, where they put off exercise? Like you said, you had a back problem, and the doctor said never to lift a weight. And there are a lot of people who are looking for the slightest excuse not to get back. to exercise what what do you tell them but why are you why are you uh, fooling yourself you know if you want to be fit you want to exercise you you have to get back otherwise there is no i mean you know you yeah. can just get more sick right so you have to motivate yourself into addressing that problem and coming back and i guess exactly. if i if i can do it i'm sure all of you watching out there i'm sure you guys can do it Yeah, so we cannot end this uh, chat. We spoke about uh, the body, the food, your uh, experience with health and fitness, right? So the the important part is the spiritual part. How do you keep yourself happy in spite of so many troubles around? How do you stay calm, composed, and uh, happy? The inner inner well being. I think it's also uh, the kind of person I am, basically, and I've also worked on myself in many different kind of ways. but my, my, i attribute this whole thing back to my physical exercise and well being vijay if you have a healthy body i think you have a healthy mind and that will lead to it lead you to more soulful thinking you know so i believe in uh, shiddhi sai baba i think he gives me all the strength i derive all the strength from him and uh, now i am uh, really hooked on to sadguru and his discourses so he gives me a lot of strength through that uh and i take life as it comes like when you say you know when uh, life is throwing lemons at you you make a lemonade out of it i think exactly. that's just the kind just just the kind of person i am how you, how you look at life isn't it yeah and so just uh, becoming yeah. a bitter person you can always become a better person so what about your sleep uh you you wake up pretty early for your bob cycling and i know you enjoy that a lot and uh, how do you manage sleep when you really have to get up and how do you have the energy to pull it through through the day like i said because it's it's a passion i love doing it it's not a compulsion so uh, those days i try to either sleep early or come back and catch up on my sleep during the day maybe an afternoon nap but i've never missed my ride all my buddies out there can tell you because i love them i love their company they keep me motivated so uh, we've been done about 450 rides in the last 5 years and uh, i can tell you if i mark my attendance i wouldn't have missed more than 15 rides 10 to 15 rides you know i'm yeah. a very regular person yeah so more than more than you we've been scared when you go for cycling that you need to be safe you know because it's an outdoor activity and you know we but uh, i know but you always tell me that you take all the precautions you wear your helmet and you carry a water bottle and you don't do speed riding you know this which is a which everybody should know because a lot of people think it is uh, is a racing and you know like it's Uh, it is absolutely safe if you ride at the right speed like you guys do and it's a wonderful activity not only a physical activity but also a nice way to bond and to meet people right uh, that's what that's there's another aspect that bob group has uh, brought in i think yeah we all make sure that you know it's all about fun friendship and fitness and i think that the bond is like really strong there my bobs have been there in this last 5 years i think i made some really brilliant friends i would like to thank viba and preeti out there who are my uh co captains in the whole uh, group for being there for yeah. me yeah i think we covered almost all aspect that we had planned for you there's one last question uh, ms radhika shurjit she wants to know who has been your role model i think uh, like i already mentioned reka at that point of time but yeah. to, today i would like to acknowledge uh, suhasini as one of my role models for everything because i've been seeing that even in this lockdown period oh my god she is unstoppable you know 
I like the way she balances all her activities, her family, her friends, and her social work and her career. Hats off to Suhasini. So she's really one of my role models. And hats off to you too for uh, inspiring us and uh, multitasking and uh, being kind, passionate, and uh, loving to all human beings. Thank you. It was wonderful chatting with you. Last Thank one, you Vijay. Guys. Yes, La- yeah, we'll sign off one. with you. Yes, yes. Yeah. I would just like to say that you know these quarantine days have opened up many other things in my mind also. and i would like to thank my dad my daughter and my son in law and my two maids and my watchmen and all my six dogs at home who are keeping me going and who keep my spirits high and who make life beautiful i have to tell uh, that you inspired your children into fitness and exercise you know it's so nice to see a whole family uh, exercising you know whether it's your dad or your brother i think it's a is a nice uh, feeling around you know like when it is infectious it's a good thing and uh, keep it that way and uh, may god wish you i mean may god bless you with uh, all that you like to in your life yeah it was nice chatting with you and thank you all for joining in and we'll catch up again next week with another personality thank you thank you thank you so much vijay thank you bye bye thank you bye 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 bye